the beginning of September 2015, the UNL pollinator plot. I wanted to show you this week a little bit of our benches that we're working on. Uh, these are cinder block benches. Got the idea for some of the do-it-yourself do home network shows. What's great about these is you can use recycled materials. They're very cheap materials to build benches. What I've done is I've got some uh, extreme liquid nail here that I've glued these center blocks together. I have a concrete poured base about probably 10 inches down in and about 5 inches deep that it provides a fairly level surface and support for the benches. Uh, the, the concrete center blocks themselves are very heavy and, and they're glued together very tight. You can pick the whole thing up if you have enough strength, probably about best over 100 pounds uh, for that base. And uh, I painted them a little bit uh, with some, you know, fake rock paint, uh, the paint that actually kind of looks like stone uh, from Home Depot. I uh, purchased that. And uh, I have some 4x4s that will serve as the bench tops. And you can see I've been painting those. I've got sort of two different colors. What I did is I went to Home Depot and found the sort of scrap paint or the reject paint that people decide they want and then, well, then it doesn't quite work or it doesn't look the, looks to be the right color. So they sell it at a very cheap discount. So what's great about this is it's, um, you know, recycled materials or cheap materials to build the bench, which sort of goes along with the theme of our water-wise pollinator friendly plot, this idea of less inputs. And uh, we will have three of these four by fours in the top of the benches. I will position these, uh, line them up really good, glue them down to the top, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, build a cross member like that go across all the three pieces when we have them set properly and glued down it'll provide a little bit more stability it'll be an inlaid piece and uh we'll have uh, i'll show you the final product but it'll probably match uh, the paints here match some of the colors in the plot I'll probably maybe bring in the purples i haven't quite decided yet what color i'm going to do there as the inlay piece and then finally on the outside what we're going to do is um, trying to recruit some students to help me build some mosaic tile or create some mosaic tiles with insect and plant themes for the outside of the cinder blocks and we're going to glue them there we have some 8x8 tile that uh, two uh, on each cinder block just fits perfectly and it provides some beauty and also provide a finished piece to that bench because we do want to make it look really nice here out in this plot um, so anyway we'll have two benches across from each other um, they I kind of sat on them they work just about the right height for most folks but it uh, should work pretty good. But you can see we've got a little bit of work to do. Uh, I've got to wait for this glue to set and all pieces, paint to finish drying. And then when it's not 95 degrees, which has been out here the last several days, I'll come out here and assemble the final product. And we should have pretty close to completed uh, for this year, our water-wise pollinator friendly garden. But anyway, I wanted to give you a little update and show you this neat trick. You can look on the internet and find some nice completed pieces Certainly when it's done, we'll take another video and show you the final product. But uh, this will give you an idea of maybe how to start putting one together in your garden. And uh, you know you can find these pieces at places like Restore, uh, scrap pieces of cinder block and wood there. And also check your home stores as well because even if you don't, can't buy recycled versions of the materials here, uh, fairly inexpensive on a piece by piece basis compared to you know assembling a, a regular bench. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoy and hope you're inspired by this video.